All right, got the trailer painted, and uh, came out okay. Yeah, kind of light. I mean, I don't like about it, but it is what it is. <clears throat> the same paint that they use on bridges and uh, tanks, is what it says on the can. So the rust spot was from the other side with a patch welded on top. I didn't do the bed. I'm um, undecided whether to paint the bed or just kind of rub it down with oil because every time you get a load of something, as you can tell, it's not a stitch of paint that's on it right now. It just gets rubbed right off. Um, don't know. And plus my paint gun was acting up and it was frustrating me. And uh, so maybe I could do it with a roller. Not that it's all that fancy. So that's where I am. And the other thing is, I had these tires for uh, the wife's car I bought on Craigslist, and I was all set to put them on, and then I looked at a car. Her car was 16th, not 15th. Whoops. So I've been looking for an excuse to use them for something, and I think I'm going to put them on this. Uh, just kind of the fact is I take it down the trail. It's really kind of rough, and these are more like a highway tread. And clearance should be okay. Should have enough room all the way around. Plus, it gets the trailer up a little higher in the air. And then these tires, which aren't dry rotted, but they're trailer tires. They have a weight capacity of uh, 1805 each. Those have a weight capacity of 1905 each. So I'm actually going heavier. But over here, I have a car trailer. And the car trailer has. 15 205, same size as those that are on the, that trailer. Of course, different rims that are getting really cracked. I don't know if you can see it in these videos. They're just really punky. So, that's my battle plan. As you can see, I don't have much clearance in any of this. So, they're going to go on there, I think. Well, at least the other ones are going on. And then these four tires will sit over here by this trailer. <laughs> so, I find I want to use it. <coughs> anyway, well. I'll let you know how I make out. I'll do another one when that part's done. And here's my aluminum foil little bags on the bottom, so I gotta tuck my lights back in. I think this stuff's gonna hold up pretty good. It's pretty tough. You can't really scratch to it or nothing. I guess you don't want that on a tank neither. I wouldn't be very good now, would it? Quite sure, I want to do with the uh, sideboards. I don't know if I want to paint them, just leave them alone, maybe hit them with clear. Or do nothing. Okay, let's 